Hey, Tucker Stoll here for Doc Sports, and it is a Saturday, and with a lot of activity going on it, the May or on May fifteenth. So we're back with more action for you. Yesterday's free play scorecard had we uh, thought we had a winner sitting at six going into the eighth inning, but the uh, San Diego bullpen blew it for us. Didn't get the job done. Did have a winner from the Wise Guys, uh, so that was good. So let's just see if we. Can still, we're still trying to put two and two together, or in this case, well, I guess one and one together to get the two on free play. So, see if we can get that accomplished today. All right, today, we've got like I said, we've got a lot of things going on. Um, NBA action, the um, I'm there's I think only all, I think there's six or seven games on the on the docket and only one of them is at night all the rest are in the afternoon and I have a play in afternoon action it's a small play okay but I have an afternoon uh, action play and it's uh comes to try and build on a 47 and 29 record over the last nine weeks good for over six thousand one hundred dollars profit based on units so see if we can deliver yet again because i don't know if i'm gonna have a play even though everybody's playing tomorrow i'm not sure i'm gonna have a play necessarily so this could be my last play before the end of the regular season major league baseball hit my biggest play of the season last night with the Boston Red Sox coming from behind to beat the Los Angeles Angels. Like I said, it's my biggest play of the season. So we had a winner there, and that takes me to 9-2 and two in my last 11 baseball plays, and I'm coming back with another five-unit play, another, you know, uh, not my best play of the year, but among the uh, uh, top plays of 2021. So got that one, and there's one more included in that package then, too. So you get Two plays, okay, for just $30 at the Doc site. Uh, NHL going to pass yet again today. Playoffs start today, uh, but I don't like the Boston-Washington game, but I know I, I'm looking at two games for tomorrow. Might, I don't know if it'll be one or two, but I'm looking at two of them for tomorrow. And the Preakness is today. Okay, so we got that going. And I have three picks in the Preakness today. Now, some of those who don't remember, I had Medina Spirit uh, to win in place two weeks ago. And as of right now, it's still it's still the winner. Uh, however, that works out, and uh, I've been uh, I've taken some guff from a few people saying I picked a, a a horse that's an addict and all this and all that. Well, I'll tell you what, I would maybe even agree with somebody if they said that. Except one thing, I had no idea that the horse w was getting that substance. Okay. So, be it as it may, I picked the right horse. I'm trying to pick the right horse again today. I got three bets going today in the Preakness. Plus, I also have one in the 11th race. So, you can get all four plays for just 25 bucks at the Doug Upstone page at Doc Sports today. So, let's see if we can deliver in the horse racing yet again. Okay? And don't forget uh, the 2020 Kentucky Derby. I had the exact two. So, had a little bit of a streak on, on the horses. So see if we can continue that. Okay, let's get to today's free play. I was actually going to do a uh, NBA play, but with lines moving like crazy, which is typical, uh, you know, especially going into the last week of the season, players sitting, different things going on. Uh, other than one game, I didn't see any value at all, okay, in my opinion, in playing the NBA. So, even for a free pick. So, instead, we're jumping over to Major League Baseball. Uh, the Chicago Cubs yesterday won their fifth road game in 16 tries. Uh, so, they've been terrible on the road, but they got it done in Detroit yesterday. And they also ended their three-game uh, losing streak and snapped the Tigers' four-game win streak. Uh, Detroit's going to start Jose Arena tonight, and he has a solid 3.60 ERA. Uh, but he's an accident waiting to happen, in my opinion, with 18 walks in 40 innings, which pushes his whip up to 1.4. Um, if this game is close going into the late innings, the Tigers' bullpen, <laughs> wow, 6.47 ERA, which is the worst in the major leagues, and it's and it's so bad that it's three quarters of a run higher, basically, than Colorado's, which is 29th. Three quarters of a run. Okay, that's huge. So w with that, um, you know, it, it does now as far as the Cubs, I'm, I'm no fan of Trevor Williams. Uh, I, he's been, I think he's got his ERA is up around. Uh, I know in the last three starts, it's over seven. That's for sure. I'm no fan, but guess what? He's faced Detroit four times in his career, never lost him. So I have to lean a little bit there with the Cubs. And I got this for you. Uh, American League underdogs 
of plus 100 or more uh, and that are that have a starting pitcher who has a whip of 1.4 to 1.5 and has a, a struggling bullpen that has an, a whip of 1.75 or higher over the last 15 games, they are just 21 and 70. So let's take the Chicago Cubs, not because I have that picture behind me. Let's just take them because I think it's the better play. Let's take the Chicago Cubs minus the 130 over the Detroit Tigers today. Okay, so uh, just to let you know, we yeah, once again, Preakness action, horse racing. Okay, I got three plays for the Preakness, one other race, 25 bucks. NBA afternoon action available. I got a Major League Baseball five-unit play plus another just 30 bucks at my page at Doc Sports. Okay, wise guy play. Okay, today with all the injuries go, uh, and guys sitting out for Boston, Minnesota Timberwolves as favorites over the uh, Boston Celtics today is the wise guy play for Saturday. So, as, as you know the drill, I will not be here to do a video on Sunday, but you go to my page, there'll be one there, guaranteed, for sure. Otherwise, I'll be back on Monday. Have an absolutely fantastic weekend. I certainly plan to. This is Doug Upstone for Doc Sports. Until next time, I'm out.